things. Uh, it is the summer of 2023. We're getting ready for you guys to come in in August. And as we do most summers in putting together our summer workout, we usually accompany that with the video where we explain all the different moves and the lifts and the sprints. Um, this is gonna be an almost embarrassingly short video. We're gonna try to keep it very simple. In the email that you just received, uh, you have uh, a bunch of different things that you have to do and, and, and paperwork you gotta turn in. Um, attached to that is your lifting workout. Um, Zach, Coach Schrader, has put that workout together for you. Our returning players have worked very hard over the winter and spring in their lifting. They know most of these moves. A few new ones have been added in. If you have any questions about anything, just reach out in the chat group or reach out to, to Coach Zach, um, or you can even ask us, or you can Google the move itself. But your lifting program is very important. We need to be strong this season. The sprint work, on the other hand, is what we're going to cover in this video. And it's, again, very basic in its, in its, in its setup, but it's very uh, important that you follow this almost to the left. Okay? So if you look up here, um, your sprint work are what we call 50s uh, on the women's side and 60s on the men's side. The women, and the, the, what this is is kind of the wider, shorter field is the soccer field. The narrower, longer field is the football field. We run these sprints, the 50s or 60s, the width of the field. And so what the women do is they start 53 yards apart. They start on the first side and run across, sprint across as fast as they can to the other side as quickly as they can. It usually takes seven or eight seconds. Then they have the remainder of the 30 second clock to rest. And then at the bottom of the minute, they sprint back across, across this line. They have to reach this one in seven or eight seconds as well. They have the remainder of the 30 seconds to rest and so forth and so on. At the top of every minute, they run across. At the bottom of every minute, they run back. The men do the same thing. It also takes them about seven or eight seconds to run the 61 yards across. They wait the remainder of the 30 seconds and then they sprint on the bottom of the minute back across. So you're starting your summer on a 30 second clock. If you wanna pan down here, Toby, on a 30 second clock. That means you're running your first sprint at zero, then 30, one minute, 130, two, 230, and so forth and so on, all the way through to 10 minutes, okay? So that's, an, that's about an eight second sprint and a 22 second rest. If you really are only capable of running three minutes of this at the beginning of the summer at your all out effort, then that's where we want you. Yes, the goal is 10 minutes, but I would rather have you run your fullest and be dead after three minutes and know it and build slowly from there, adding 30 seconds, adding a minute, working your way to 10, rather than kind of give 60 or 70% effort and get through 10 minutes. That's not really telling you anything about where you are. Your job is to come back here at the end of the summer, able to recover quicker and more often from the sprint load, okay? So you start your summer in this, in this fashion, a 30 second clock, running as many of these as you can until you work your way to 10 minutes worth. The players who left here at the end of the spring can do 10 minutes worth of these sprints, okay? As you go through the summer then, your job is not to necessarily add more minutes past 10, it's to cut your clock time down. The second phase then would be to go to a 25 second clock. This makes it a little more difficult. You're looking at starting at the top and bottom of each sprint at 0, 25, 50, 115, and so forth and so on. You basically have to have these times and your clock, uh, your, your phone in your hand to be able to run 10 minutes worth. Basically, if you look at the first one, if you can do 10 minutes worth, you're gonna do 20 total sprints. If you can do it on a 25 second clock, you've now graduated to being able to do 24 sprints in those 10 minutes. So essentially we're not adding work, we're just getting more efficient at doing the work in the same amount of time. You're gonna recover quicker, you're gonna be more fit. Then the third phase then is to get to the 20 second clock. Maybe you get to where you can do 10 minutes worth and now when you go to a 20 second clock, that means again, your sprint is still the same, seven or eight seconds. Your rest time is gonna get cut down. Maybe now you can only do six or seven minutes worth. Again, push your fullest. Quit when you can't do anymore, and then slowly add back in until you get back to 10 minutes. So the, over the course of the summer, your job is to do the best you can on a 30-second clock. Once you get to 10 minutes, you go to a 25-second clock. 
Do the best you can, work your way back to 10, and then go to a 20 second clock. Do the best you can and start adding minutes until you get back to 10 minutes. You've gone all the way through the summer on an eight, seven or eight second sprint, but you've cut your rest from 22 seconds to 17 seconds to 12 seconds. You've gone from doing 20 sprints in 10 minutes to 30 sprints in 10 minutes. And the only way this works is if you give full effort on every sprint. You cannot tell if you are making progress if you only give your 50%, 60%, 70%, even 85% is not good enough. Progressive resistance also applies to your lifting program. If you're gonna lift your hardest, you can tell when it's time to move on. If you're just gonna coast, then you won't tell where your fitness level really is, okay? So again, you can come back to this picture uh, on your video, but essentially, women are running 53 yards or 48.5 meters from a 30 second clock to a 25 second clock to a 20 second clock. Men are running 61 yards or 55.75 meters on a 30 second clock, then a 25 second clock, then a 20 second clock, okay? And what you're gonna wanna do here is you're gonna wanna run this two times per week and then one time do something else a Cooper 20 40 60s 20s or 18s as the women run them etc so if your lifting schedule is Monday Wednesday Friday let's just say your sprint schedule can be Monday, Friday, and your other run can be Wednesday. So you could have complete recovery days on Tuesday, Thursday, and your weekend, or you can play games, you can train with your team, you can do whatever you want, three days a week. If you come toward the end of the summer, right before preseason, you could then sprint on the days you're not lifting and do something every single day, all right? You want to get your body to where you're ready for the preseason. You'll have video chat groups in June and July where older players can help you decide what kind of pounding your body needs in order to be ready for the preseason. You want to uh, be ready the last two, three weeks of training before you get here to be doing something every single day. Preseason will be training twice in a day, so you've got to kind of uh, prepare yourself for that that kind of load on your body, okay? We'll talk a lot more throughout the summer with letters that we send you, um, information, uh, updates. You can see the lifting workout is in three phases as well. But overall, this is maybe the most important thing you can do for your summer. You're a good soccer player. Otherwise, we wouldn't have recruited you. But just be able, fitness-wise, to be able to show us the best version of yourself. If you're not ready for preseason, doesn't matter how good you are, you will never catch up. As you improve in preseason, so will the players ahead of you, and they'll continually stay ahead of you. Do yourself a favor, be ready. We're totally excited for next year. We had a great winter and spring. The returning group is ready. The incoming group will be ready. We're gonna have a great fall with both teams. Questions, comments, whatever, reach out to Toby, to Jackie, to myself, or any returning player, as well as Coach Schrader for your, um, your lifting, okay? Have a great summer. We'll see you in August.